Alright, so let's go on to this. Ironically, with Nathan's luck, he doesn't need to save up like the rest of us. He can normally go straight through it with a couple of things and he's good to go. Hmm. Trying to think who I should use. I'll probably stick with Devil Man. Cause now I got his, as people may have noticed, I got his SR. So might as well stick with him. Those Ball Brave. Even though I don't I haven't even done that world yet, but regardless. Let's continue on. Dang. You have gun and double O enemies. Yeah, be sure to show off the special attacks of both you and your enemy. Alright. So apparently we're on a on a Ptolemy's ship. Dynasty's regular report just came in. The Archangels are is withdrawing from Area 11 as planned. We received the code transmission from our agent Wang Liu Mu that the Human Reform League is on the move. As Veda surmised, they began moving as soon as Archangel left Britannia Union territory. So Veda is like a supercomputer, basically. Veda plans out everything and knows everything that the celestial beings doing. It's their it's their guide. It's like their it's their um what's it called yeah it's literally their guide. As he's with to explain Veda. We will now move to the mission plan second phase. We can safely assume their battles against the Britannian army won't go unnoticed by the other world powers. We'll have you two go and provide escort for them. Including myself and Thierry along with Setson and Lock-On. A mission utilizing all of the Gundam Meisters. So a Gundam Meister, Nathan, it's uh, what's called. A Gundam Meister is the name of a Gundam pilot in the Gundam Double O universe. Pilot, Gundam pilots appointed by Celestial Being. Okay? Mm -hmm. Got it. That's what they are. If any of the three gate powers get their hands on them, the already delicate yeah, the already delicate power balance of each country will be greatly affected. And that's both of them? Huh? Oh, I said it already. Nah. That's Tiaria. Alright, she says it. Oh. Veda has um, also concluded that their protection should be given priority. If it's Veda's recommendation, then I'll comply. I'll follow the plan and complete the mission. Syria leaves. And that's Alleluia. You're gonna love Alleluia. I love Alleluia. Great character. He's human. Yes, he's fully human in everything. Hey, just like Miss Sumeragi. Don't worry about it, Hallelujah. You stand by as well. Understood. I'll be going then. All the plans presented by Veda presented by Veda recommend putting the four Gundams in contact with the DD Irregulars. Just what are they? More importantly, what could be what could possibly happen that would require all four Gundams during a mission? Now we're on the Kalon Island HRL base. Oh snap, we're going into Gundam Double O territory. So that's Sergei. He's not that important in this part until he gets Soma. Anyways, your mission is to annihilate the armed organization which calls itself Celestial Being. And in addition to capture its mobile weapons. By accomplishing this task, we of the Human Reform League will lead the world forward and greatly contribute to the development of humanity. I have the highest expectations for you all. And then there's Soma Perry's. That's Alleluia's love interest. And she says, Sir. Hello, we're the Archangel. And the mess, I'll be exact. I can't believe the person piloting that red nightmare frame was a cutie like you. And <laughs> she's angry. <laughs> well, someone's in bad news. Hello, Kuzuki. My name is Konami Chittery. We met once before, didn't we? You know, in the Tokyo Settlement? I remember you. And him, too. 
I never would have imagined you were all a part of the Archangels crew. So that's Colin. So, Colin is like the son or the daughter of very hot blooded pilots. She's amazing. And of course, you know Sosuke. Sosuke is the greatness as well. It is why I love Super Raw Wars. We have interactions we can, between characters you'd never expect. Nathan? Yep. Okay, good, you're there. So, yeah, I gotta get you the code, Gios, though. It's more accurate to say I'm a freeloader, actually. I'm a, just a high school girl. Then why are you on the ship? Well, let's just say a lot of stuff happened that led to it, Koski. Just calling is fine. Then you can call me Konami. And they become friends. And now I'm Kurtz. If you have the time, I'd be able to show you around the ship. Sorry, but I'm not in the mood for that. I guess you're worried about Japan and your people, huh? Well, yeah. I never thought I'd end up separated from Japan. It's only natural for soldiers to obey their command commander's orders. Hmm. Ouch! Of course she slaps him. Because she... I'll show you videos of that later. That hurt, Chittery. You oaf. Give a little consideration to how Kalen feels. Thanks, Konami. Huh? The Black Knights will be fine with Zero there. So I'll do the job you assigned me here. That's right. I had to live up to Zero's expectations and trust and expectations. And now we're in the hangar! Gunna Mexi and Gunna Nanis. Looks like they're equipped with a very unique kind of power source. Examine. Want to. If we examine the power sources in uh, of machines in other worlds, we might be able to learn more about the Darion's d -Lev. You two are interested in our Gundams? Yeah, a bit. Good tying them. We, we have something we'd like to ask you about too. Ah. Yeah, suck. Yeah, just press it one more time. Ah, well. There you go. What is it? Where's white machine with the star-shaped piece on its chest? Or... Yeah. Mm. I saw it in Setsun's port, but I can't find it anywhere in the hangar. Well, the Darion's... Answer? There. Mm. What do you mean? You won't believe this? But he can transform into that Darion! Transform? When do time become? These are the irregulars. It's no wonder we had orders to track them. What kind of technology... Yeah, what kind of technology allows him to turn into a Titan? More importantly, is he even human? Hmm? Okay, we're in the bridge. Several high-energy heat sources, approaching rapidly. Compare with the data, with the data Celestial Being gave us. Remember, Celestial Beings are the protagonists of Gundam 00. That's where the Gundams are from. And stuff. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I didn't think we'd make it to our destination without some kind of incident. Match found. They're Tierans. The Human Reforce, the Human Reform League's mobile suits. Somehow, I doubt they're in the mood to say hello. Incept, all hands. Level 1 battle stations. Ah, Operation Gundam Capture. If I remember correctly, in the original series, Operation Gundam Capture was basically... They sent out an entire army. A mobile suits, Nathan. For 16 hours, the Gundam pilots had to fight those things. Hmm. 16 hours. Respond or something, time. dude. Yeah. It's a very long time. Oh, yeah, because remember, even though they have superior machines, the Gundam pilots themselves are still human at that time. Hmm. Hey, buddy. What's up? Don't forget to breathe when you're reading. I at times forget that actually, yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Operation Gundam Capture. Sometimes, a little, I read sometimes too fast. a little too fast. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I you're read good. way too fast. The reason the AR the reason the HRL is making a move now must be because of Gundam. Right. We'll be escorting Dark Angel. Roger.
Eliminating targets while escorting the Archangel. Ah, Dynamis. Such a beautiful machine. Remember, Dynamis yeah, yeah. is sniper focused. Yeah, it explains the range. Nexia. Thing's all about the swords. Only barely, barely over. Nice. Takes care of him. So next up, we got that one, and yeah, takes care of them. Enemy destroyed. Enemy destroyed. Looks good for now. <laughs> Several high heat, yeah, high energy heat sources approaching. They appear to be enemy reinforcements. Oh, come on. These HRL guys must be real eager to get their hands on us. Considering our current combat supplies, we're at disadvantage. We should retreat. That won't be necessary. What do you mean? It's time. High heat energy sources... High energy heat sources rapidly approaching. Two units. They're coming from the opposite direction as the enemy. And what's with this reading? Exia, Dynamis, same as. Oh, there they are. Kyrios and um. Now, oh, well. anyways, Kyrios confirming the escort target. Hallelujah, haptism. Moving to phase three. Seriarde executing the mission. Two more Gundams. The gang's all here. Even so, the situation is highly unpredictable. Yeah, that's what Ms. Sumeragi's tactical forecast said. And we got more enemies on the way, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I completed stuff. To the next part of the stage. I wonder if this game's gonna adapt season two. We're back at their base. The fish are in the net. All mobile suit teams take off. Surround the Gundams. Second lieutenant appears. How's the condition of your unit? No problems whatsoever, Commander. All green. Super Soldier number one. According to the data, now machines were implanted inside her body, maintaining it constantly. Her entire nervous system is sensitive and amplified with medical treatment, elevating her reaction time. And the Superhuman Institute doesn't see anything wrong with what they're doing. Commander? No, it's nothing. I expect good things from you, Second Lieutenant, but don't do anything rash. Sir! Then. Look at that, all four Gundams right there, Nate. Nice. 
you'll see the attacks of these two over here. While the rest, you already know them. Sweet. All the mutings in the combat zone have disappeared. We pulled through with some help, but let's hope that's the end of it. Yes, let's break away from this area while we can. Roger, change course to e even more energy, high energy heat sources approaching. So they're still coming? Sergey is here. Celestial beings Gundams. It's convenient for us to have them all gathered in one spot. To all units, capture any uh, one of those machines. Good. W what is this? So, what you're wondering is, Alleluia, along with um, Soma, they're in the same quantum brain frequency thing, so they're affecting each other's thoughts through, the pr through quantum brain waves, basically. Hmm. Commander, I'm in position. She's feeling it as well. Good. W what is this feeling? M my head. It it hurts. What's wrong, second lieutenant? Something is agitating my brain. Ugh. Uh oh. Now we got his other side. Hallelujah. <laughs> Who are you? Who's trying to poke around inside me without permission? Who are you? I'll kill you. No, stay away. Second lieutenant? He even moves even closer. Dear God, eat this. No, no. <laughs> Drop dead. <laughs> Second lieutenant. That gun is moving differently compared to before. But, but he was like... It's like he's tormenting his opponent. I've seen the kid's moves get better mid-battle several times now, but this? So stop, hallelujah. Stay out of this, hallelujah. Please stop. It's better for me to be on the outside right now. Stop it! It stopped moving? Abrupt stop. Uh, what's what's it doing now? Abrupt stop. Congestion cause. Pilot illness. Now recover the second lieutenant immediately. Roger. Ugh, ugh. My headache died down. That's Tyrion pilot. Who was it? Men, approach the wing gunner with extreme caution. Don't throw your life away. All right. Yeah, something's telling me you probably don't want any of those uh, four units to disappear. Of course not, they're Gundams. You should know the thing by now. We're in Gundam 00 stage, man. And a Gundam dub number, if it's about the story, yeah, nah. Yay, animation. Let's see what his first attack is. So I don't have any of his other attacks yet. Bring it on. Did 
Dang, I managed to hit him. Yeah, he's gonna be taking a lot of damage up there if we're not careful. Oh yeah, that's <clears> why <throat> the others are right behind him. So we got all our crew, including Devil Man. Um, Xeos again? It's just the basic beam um, gun. Okay. Remember, Xeos' main thing are its seven swords. That's why in Z2 it even has it as an attack called the seven sword attack. I'll stop you, Wing Gun. Yeah, I'll stop you. I'll stop you, Wing Gundam. Hallelujah! Why did you just come out? Why did you come out just then? No, right now I need to focus on the mission. Nah, no, he doesn't have any pra praises against the Gundam. This attack, mm -hmm. especially to, to an audience, if I have one. Mr. Picky. with this. Alright, you gotta show this one. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Can't get sniper rifle attacks. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Even with this much firepower, we couldn't push back the Gundams. Board operation. All units. Retreat.
machine machine uh are that uh, 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 my reading sucks. <laughs> all enemy units reading yeah, all enemy unit all enemy unit readings in the combat zone have disappeared. Mission complete. Continue to escort the target. Sorry, continue to guide the escort target to the designated point. What? <laughs> ah, sorry. Yeah, I'm as breaking. Roger. Beginning maximum GN particle dispersion. All right, time to make our getaway. Yo, hallelujah. Roger. Hallelujah. I. Yeah. And then there's Lang Lum Yu. So remember, Celestial Being has sponsors throughout the world that sponsor their stuff. I mean, no, they don't. Remember, money doesn't grow on gr grass. Doesn't grow well. Money doesn't grow on trees. <laughs> so, yeah, Wang Lum Yu is one of their sponsors. Anyways, once again, I would like to congratulate you, Sir Alejandro. That compliment should go to the Gundam Meisters, Lang Lum Yu. They suddenly broke through a major powers of steam military, and once again showed their might to the world. Though they were accompanied by an archangel that descended from a parallel world. Yes, their appearance could bring about a different kind of innovation than celestial being would. As an observer, I have to discern what that would be for sure. Don't you agree, Ribbons? He's the real person you should be worrying about. Now we're back on Area 11. So, Celestial Beings, Gundams, and large battleships shaking off the HRL's pursuit. They appear to be on course for the Africa. The HRL must be there. Yeah. The HRL must be in hot water after that. Regardless, there's another problem that still needs to be taken care of. Guilford, report. The Jap the Japan Liberation Front are all but destroyed. However, the Black Knights appear to be gaining strength. The remaining evidence left behind from the Narita Mountains suggests that the landslide was orchestrated by Zero. However, there's no more information other than that. If this continues, we'll be lavish stock of not only our allies, the Union, but our, but our own country as well. We will thoroughly eliminate all resistance forces within Area 11. Just you wait, Zero. And Euphemia already knows who Zero is. Because you can feel it. So, in Code Geass, the king, Emperor Charles himself, he has, like, a lot of kids. Cornelia and Euphemia and Lelouch, they're all siblings as well. Hmm. Meanwhile, in your union base. Oh, it's that Grand Acre. No, uh, no way. Graham, he's the greatness. He's, he's, he's too cool for us to understand. Anyways, hmm, looks like the HR lost their bet. Celestial Beings Gundams were powerful enough on their own to say nothing of the large battleship with them. Yes, to not just escape the Witch of Britannia, but not, but to not even succumb to the HRL's forces. I'm finding them even more charming. If our Britannia Union forces will hurry up and form the anti-Gundam research team, then look forward to a Gundam. Graham Aker is quite pushy when he wants to make a move on someone. What series is that from again? They're from the gun on Double O. Um, Graham Aker, he's in a sense on the battlefield. He's Setsuna's rival. Mm -hmm. And then we're in Africa now. Ali Alsach is here. They also the was sending me out there, out here, and then canceling the mission. How's the war monger supposed to... Then you hear something. Ho ho, well the, that does sound very interesting. 
Yeah, I'm on board with that. <laughs> so those AU, AEU United Republic of Europia big waves are rising up. They're finally getting up and doing something. Uh oh. That can't be good. Regardless, basically it was the whole the whole concept of this was to showcase the Gundam's power. And now? Yeah. Oh yeah. Big gap. Well, we're not gonna be using him. I never used them in Z2. Kyrios! Yes, we'll probably be using Kyrios, because Kyrios is amazing. Alright. At least we did that. That's good. We'll deal with the next stage on the next part, I guess. Well, goodbye everyone. Nathan is the main audience, so he's saying goodbye as well, isn't he? Yep. Okay. So,